is actually about five kilometers across. There's plenty of room to sail for everyone. When the Norte comes, generally the trend is for three to four days. Super steady. With the island there and the mountains, even if we don't get an El Norte wind, we still have a thermal because it's cooler out in the sea and it's hotter in the mountains, so it makes the wind cycle through. La Ventana is a great place to get warm on the holidays. Prime season is end of November, and then actually can go right till March. But don't forget your wetsuit. We've had winters where you get more El Nortes and it gets chillier, and you want to wear a 3-2 wetsuit, but it doesn't get that cold here. It's super long season, really consistent wind. The beach is wide, the wind is reliable, and beginners do well here. Actually, the Bay of La Ventana is quite safe. Um, you know, you can really just end up on the south shore, so it's it's pretty safe for kiting. As you know, like the next few weeks will probably be the most crowded because it's Christmas time and a lot of people are on holiday and everything. But I mean, the bay is giant. So if you want to get away from the crowds, you drive 10 kilometers up north and you got nobody up there. This beach attracts a lot of kiters. Probably around 70 to 80 kites and somewhere about 40 uh, windsurfers. You can do an upwinder for 10 minutes and you're away from the crowds. The bay is so big. Don't tell anyone. Coming soon. You find out that your kite is not going to fly again. Your job is to get off of the water and back in safely. The KiteSites.com series is free on iTunes, YouTube, and other pod catchers. You can also download our videos directly from most video enabled smartphones or through the new iPhone app. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. If you would like the KiteSites.com series to highlight any blog, event, or product related to wind sports, get in touch with us.